It's time for the Gizwiz with Mads Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1773, recorded Thursday, April 2nd, 2020. On the record. On this episode of the Gizwiz, we have... A what the heck is it gadget? We don't even know. I take over one of the main gadgets. We get a new theme for the crappy corner and we have a live gadget warehouse. All next on The Giz It's the Salem Show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology. Rows and rows of USBs. Growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! Now, and here he is, Gizwiz19. We might call him <laughs> Givwiz, not COVID. Anyway, how you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir, and you? Doing good myself. Doing rather good. We are all locked indoors. Yeah. Uh, it's getting yeah. normal now, I feel like, at this point. It's like, it's a new normal. Oh, oh, Just no, not inside. normal for me. Not for you? <laughs> no. Uh, I, I would be already out boating, so that drives yeah. me crazy that the marina is closed. And, um, you know, you're more like Dennis. Dennis could stay in. He, he doesn't notice it at all. Uh, yeah. But I, I go to the park like three times a day when I get blue inside. Either go out in the yard and play with the trains or walk down to the park. And Riverside Park, it's easy to stay uh, uh, six, six feet, feet apart. Away. Yeah. Yeah. And then every night at seven, we run out. And you know, they do, you know the thing about seven o'clock in New York City? Uh, no. It's getting bigger and bigger. It's sort of, it's, it's kind of, uh, it's almost uh, a motion ma uh, making because more and more people are joining in. <clears throat> I think it started with a big condominium that faced a hospital. Mm -hmm. And the, the condominium knew that there was a major shift change at 7 p.m. So one evening at 7 p.m., everybody went out on their balcony to applaud them. Oh. And then other buildings started going in. And then uh, Friday night, I was sitting here, and and I said to Dennis, "What is that racket out in the street?" That's and I, I, it was seven. Yes, and I ran out, and now it's everybody across the city starting to do it. So wow. it, it's just a, a thank you. Um, that is, yeah, that's cool. That is one thing that. Really could only happen in New York. It's like, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. like that is yeah. insane. That is yeah. so cool. Yeah. And, and, and the other thing that is always amazing is, is that the uh, governor was on uh, today saying that 21,000 more, 21, more people, they are asking for volunteers, anybody from anywhere in the U.S. who is willing to come to New York to help out, mainly retired health professionals are coming to New York. Uh, he said there were 83,000 so far God. since the emergency started. And to think that people would come from probably a safe place, yeah. probably be in an age group where you're vulnerable and, and volunteer. Uh, it's like astounding. It's yeah. just astounding. Yeah, it really so. is. Golly. It, it, yeah. <laughs> it really is like only in New York, like, I Will know. you have that amount of people? Obviously, you're having the epicenter of a of the crisis. Oh, yes, and then yes. just that community of everyone, you know, like the yeah. whole city, like applauding at once. <laughs> like, I know. Wow. I know. I know. Wow. But it's also it, it's also scary because everything you've seen in a in a horror movie is happening yeah. when you turn on a television and the camera says we're now in Central Park and the temporary tents are going up to house patients. That's just something you see in a movie, and yeah. now they're putting tents up uh, in the shipping terminals. Yeah, it, it's just bizarre. It's just bizarre. <sighs> Anyway, we're here to entertain for an hour. Woohoo! And we'll do that.
Let's jump in. Um, we got. To, I took over one of the gadgets. Looking forward to that. Yes, and, and I have a live favorite. gadget warehouse, and and I'm doing something different. I have my ABC thing up there, yeah. and uh, and what kills me is I've been playing with this all week, and now that we're doing it live, this little thing keeps popping up. Frame rate, frame rate problem. Frame, ah. So we'll hopefully. So basically, ABC News said, listen. We're just going to, we put your spot off week after week. We're just going to do your spot. We'll have the host in the studio. You do it from your uh, apartment, uh, your Disneyland studio. So I set up the Logitech capture and capture's gotten a little better. Uh, so we'll see uh, if it works or not. So I swear, by the way, sorry to interrupt you. You're going to have probably one of the best home studio setups. I've been watching <laughs> some of these news channels yes. and it's like they don't get it. Like, we've been doing this remote hosting for years with Twitch. Yes. And we got the yes. audio down, you got the headphones down, the webcams down, the lighting down. Some of these professionals have the worst home studios. I think they're it gonna be a, really impressed with your setup. I hope so. Also, I love it when the weatherman is sitting at his desk and I think, well, how does he know the weather? He's not even in the, in the weather center. <laughs> Right. Uh, but you're right. I, I think this is, is, is a great setup. All right. So you want your kids to play with their food more than ever because they'll be entertained. Well, we have something new from Constructive Eating. Now, Constructive Eating started with these. So this is the plate. OK. And kids love construction toys. So this is a way and it's for kids starting at about 18 months up to four years as they're learning before they get to use regular utensils. It's a way to get them to eat using fun toys like the pusher is a bulldozer. Oh, that is so cool. and, and so the pusher pushes the mashed potatoes, the peas up into the spoon spot and then the spoon spot goes in here to pick up what the bulldozer puts down and then you have a fork over here <laughs> the fork and you had this great this great plate and then at toy fair they were showing their new dino uh oh very cool constructive eating with its new uh, its, its own dino plate <laughs> and the, the stuff is great because all around the edges they have these uh, reptiles and here they have all construction tools. So anyway, we don't have kids here. So I called the company and said, do you have any video? And they said, we have a minute of video. <clears throat> the first 30 seconds has some sound because it's for the product out now. And the second 30 seconds just shows you the new dino stuff. So let's take a peek. Here we are. I'm, I'm always definitely there. seems like something that's hard to get kids to do is to eat when <laughs> when you want them to. It's like, yes, it's yeah. time to eat now. Like, let's go. Yes. And this maybe they'll get fat because they want to just keep eating. <laughs> no, I want to eat again. I want to play with my toys. Yeah, totally. I think this is great. I think this is a great product because I could really see kids getting excited about it. Yeah, um, and, and, and so those are the dino. Our little spokes uh, person there, model, is showing us the knife and the fork and the pusher, and there, the the plates can can go in the microwave. The plates and the utensils can go in the dishwasher. They start at I think plates are I think plates are fifteen dollars, and I think utensils are twenty dollars. And the woman, when she wrote back, and she said, you know. We can't advertise discounts online because of our stores, but if people use, let me see what she told me the uh, thing was, stay home 15. If you're interested in any of this and you go there, if you put uh, under coupon, stay home 15, you'll get 15% off. It's nowhere on their website, so you just sort of have to know it. That's cool. Um, and they are uh, constructive eating. Yeah, constructiveeating.com. Dot com. Oh, it looks like, oh, oh this, there, we may get a, this is a preview of another one. This looks like flowery and. Oh, they like, do that. I think they have the that. garden fairy set too. Yeah. I think they have three sets. I'm not sure if they're oh, yeah. out or Construction coming. Line, oh, it's online. Garden fairy, so, yeah. dino, yeah. activity yeah. plate. <gasps> 
No, okay, this is just a different. It's a plate. It's not in the same. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. They also all have plates. You draw your and... own. It looks like that's cool. I like yeah. that. That is neat. Constructive Pretty neat. eating. All Good right. Thought. So now everybody is going to play. What the heck is it? All right. Okay. So run this and quick guess. Okay. And see if you can guess what this is. And you'll, there you go. Okay. Here we go. Here's Wiz. What the heck is it? I had it under the table so Dennis couldn't see. Uh. Huh? Yeah? Uh, Any guesses? Ooh. A tongue depressor Ski for a robot. <laughs> Ski oh, that's sauce. very good. That's good. Okay. Uh, it is. Well, should I have, even have to. Is it a, it's a computer. Like covered. a stand? Uh, like so a. We can't see it. It is iPad the world stand? famous N8. We all know N8, ah, right? I was right. Aluminum alloy. You were right. Creative. Dennis guessed uh, skis Laptop from mice. Stand. Okay, <laughs> so this is actually very nicely made. So, Tatam. Oh, well, that looks uh, substantial. Accordion. This is really neat. And then you flip it, these down, and there are seven places to lock that in. Okay. And it is a way to hold a notebook, a laptop. This is an Asa Chromebook um, at any height you want. So it can hold a, a notebook, a laptop, up to 11 pounds. And it holds it, let's see this guy, yeah, it's uh, in the office. It is actually very nicely made. Let me just uh, show you again. So you, for travel, if any, if indeed anybody is going to travel again, it folds up <laughs> really small. Comes with a little carry bag. It's adjustable from two and three quarter inch to five and a half inches. Uh, so it has rubber mats behind for your laptop. Has rubber feet so it doesn't slide off, and of course. It vents your laptop because your laptop has got a lot of air back there. And it's uh, for notebooks up to 15 and a half inches. And let's see the price. So mine was $23.99, but looking here on Amazon, it's currently unavailable, but I'm sure they're going to have uh, things similar. All right, so here are these look pretty much the same. Um, actually, some of the even cheaper. There's one 22 bucks, 23 bucks, 27 bucks, and uh, as I said, the one that I have is unavailable. So uh, you could check out any one of these. Actually, these got uh, better reviews, I think, than mine. You can do better and pay less with the laptop stand uh, made of aluminum. And, you know, in the hotel room, it's really great for standing the uh, laptop up. And you can stand it all the way up uh, to be able to watch movies better when you're lying in bed. That's it. The Giz Whiz. <laughs> can be an accordion, too. That's nice. <laughs> that looks, like, really sturdy. That aluminum it is, looks... It is, it is really nice. Yeah. And I'm so... Uh, I'm surprised they ran out of them so fast. I only bought it uh, about three weeks ago. Um, and, and actually, it's very funny because I realized that it can be added at a disadvantage of this. <laughs> is that oh. I don't use my – I have a third Chromebook, and, and I use two monitors. And when I need more, I, I, I turn on the Chromebook. Uh, but the Chromebook it was is hard to type on all the way down, so I thought this would be good. And it helped uh, typing on it. But – it holds the laptop uh, in a position like that, and I can't pile crap on top of it. Okay, <laughs> it, it slides, slides right off. off. The yeah, exactly. This is not useful at all. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So now I said, "Oh no, I'm just going to make it a travel item. This will be great at a CES. Uh, yeah, for yeah. getting a nice." Ram, a nice little ram for the the uh, Chromebook, and also being able to stand the screen all the way up at a good angle when you're laying in bed watching movies on the laptop. Yeah, and, and I assume uh, a, a lot of people also would use something like this if they wanted the laptop for mobility, 
but when they got to a desk, they wanted a real keyboard and a real mouse. And so you could kind of set it there and then the screen would be up at a higher angle instead of lower down on the desk too. That, um, that, another great use. Yeah. Another I, great it use. It was great. It was nice. Seems sturdy Excellent. and cheap, which is good. Yes. Okay, and now, now have... ladies and gentlemen, a Chad none crappy extra. Yeah. This one's, um, this is a product that I have used an awful lot. I've had it for a while, and so uh, I recorded a video about it. So let's uh, jump on over to that video. Hey, Diggy D, so here we are with a gadget, and this is the gadget. It is called the Uni Coda. Uni is the name of the company. So this is a pizza oven, all in itself, all self-contained, and you would use this oven instead of your normal oven because a normal oven inside of a home just does not get hot enough if you're really interested in making an authentic sort of Neapolitan style pizza. This is run off of propane, which makes it very, Ooh. very convenient. And it can also sort of collapse up just a little bit. It has just some collapsible legs, so it does get a little bit shorter and easier to transport. So we're gonna go ahead and start this up because we want it to sort of warm up as we get our pizzas ready. On the back, there's a little knob for you to change the amount of flow for the propane. I'm just gonna make sure that the, here, we can actually just, yeah, the propane is off. So let me undo that. Okay, so we're gonna try to turn it on. Oh, almost on the first try. And you have to do it right Whoa! There we go. Wow! So one of the, uh, crazy things about this is that this Holy will get cow. up to 950 degrees inside of there. So way hotter than a typical oven inside of your house. It comes with the stove and this will eventually get warm. Um, but you know, this is a plastic table. I'm not too worried about Oh, did it go on? Oh, no, no, it's still going. <laughs> I didn't hear the sound for a moment. Um, and it also comes with the pizza stone inside of there. Uh, but that's it. So you have to have your own pizza. Obviously pizza used a lot moment. by me. And obviously your own dough. Yeah. So we're going to let this warm up. I'm going to go inside and make a pizza. So here we are in the kitchen with my dough. And this dough is some that I've made myself using some pizza dough flour, double zero flour. Um, and a nice thing is that Unicoda has its own app, and this app is really powerful when it comes to making your own dough. It'll allow you to change any type of setting that you want. It'll allow you to change the proof time. This specific dough has been proofing for 24 hours. You can change the temperature that the dough proofs at. So if you want to proof it in the fridge, you can do that, and it'll tell you exactly how much yeast to use and all the ingredients, which is really, really nice. Unicoda also will show you other recipes that you could use with the oven. And That's not pizza. They sell a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> on their website to, you know, go into the oven. They have like some sort of cast iron things uh, and stuff that can be used to make the oven a lot better. So I'm going to continue to make my pizza and we'll get right back once I'm finished. Boy, I can't okay, believe so that you made your own dough. Yeah. Like the great thing is you it's can customize yours easy. however you want, and there are definitely some pizza snobs out there. And I don't have basil because uh, I wasn't able to get any at the grocery store. So then you move your pizza onto the pizza peel. You want to make sure that it's floured enough that it can easily move. And then we're going to go out to the Unicoda. Okay, okay. So we're right here with the pizza. All you do is put it in. I'm kind of give it a nice little shove. It does take a little bit of muscle memory to get <laughs> better at sliding the pizza into the oven. And I'm gonna do all of this cooking real time because this oven is so hot, you will be cooking this pizza way faster and it only takes a minute or maybe two in order to make what? the entire pizza. Yeah. So the first time that I put it in there, I like to leave it in for a little bit longer because that way it'll crisp up and go back onto the peel a little bit easier. And we're gonna run it we're just about at time. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out. There we go. And you can see that this side is already really nicely cooked. 
and it gets cool fairly fast. And all we're gonna do is we're just gonna give it a one fourth turn, kind of move it forward, put it back in. Does that big shovel come with it or you had No, it? so that this is time, separate. It's gonna cook okay. less. It's not gonna be in there quite as long because a lot of the other sides have already been hit with the heat, which is the generalized heat. Obviously the side that is closest to the flame is gonna be a lot hotter. So we kind of got that side going. We're gonna do a one fourth turn again. Throw it back in. So far I'm pretty happy with how this pizza is turning out. And we're <laughs> what's crazy is we are just about done. This is a really, really, really fun thing to have whenever friends are over, whenever you have company, everybody can customize their own pizza and make their pizza exactly how they like it. And then you get to you know sort of make it right in front of them. It's a really fun sort of thing to do where you know you bring your raw pizza up over, you get it cooked really, really fast, and then you have a completed pizza at the end, which is just it's kind of just a really, really cool experience. This pizza is cooked. Wow. Okay. So, Chad, someone in the there chat is. room is, is saying, does it, is it only heating at one end? Oh, my gosh, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it definitely hits it harder on one end where it'll, it'll cook throughout the entire oven, but the side that has the flame is definitely a lot hard, hotter. Um, you wow. can use a little like heat yeah. gun, or not a heat that's gun, not, but a temperature a gun, and not that big. you can kind of you point a, it towards the middle of the uh, oven, you know, and it, you can see the temperature. Fuel. My gun only goes up to 500 degrees, so <laughs> it actually maxes out. Uh, so I need to buy a, a, a new gun, and I'm just mentioning how kind of it, the size is kind of locked to the size of the uh, oh the oven gosh. itself. So it's very specialized. It only wow, makes it's. it's you know, Amazing! Pizzas. I love it. I I I'm a big pizza fan, and I like I've been really enjoying making different types of dough, using different type of flour, really kind of getting into it. Now it's not cheap. Uh oh. I don't think that uh -oh. it's. How much do you think it cost? It's not. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Not cheap. Um. A. Uh, Eighty nine dollars. I mean, no, more than 89. Quite a, oh, okay. quite a bit more. 129. Oh, quite yeah, a bit more. Quite, quite a bit more. Oh, okay. Not, Does it have the pizza stone in it? Yes. It has the pizza stone. Right, so the here's the price. The pizza, $330. Oh, okay. $330. Um, if you want the pizza peel, you can get that as well. And then it goes up to $350. Um, and they're, they're pizza, they have different types of pizza peels. So if, this one's kind of a little weird in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's not s super cheap, <laughs> obviously this is a right. kind right. of like a new appliance that you would use. They recommend you use it also outside. Um, and there is a learning curve. Definitely. I've had, you know, maybe flour sitting on the stone and then it kind of bursts into flame and, and, you know, tries to take out your eyebrows. Uh, and so it does take a little bit of muscle memory and, and learning to get used to it. But I, I've loved it. I've loved mine. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. And um, what's, the, what's the brand name? Uni. So Uni is the brand. And then Coda is the, is the model. Um, okay. So Coda is the model. And, they, and Uni makes a ton of different types of pizza makers. So they make uh, pizza makers that requires wood, some oh, oh, are wood wow. and propane. Oh, oh, yeah. So you have all these different types of pizza makers. So you could get one that's just like wood fired only. This is once again, a personal pizza maker, which is kind of cool. That one's $200. Um, and then the, you know, so you have, you have different types. I found that propane was really <laughs> simple. So I just wanted a propane one. I didn't want any of that stuff. Do, do uh, you need to buy uh, an attachment uh, for the tank or do you have, you had that already? No, the count, so I wasn't, it, the uh, hose came off of the side that was away from the camera, but that hose just goes directly into the propane tank. Oh, with the great. Correct, um, with the correct knob thingy. Um, so yeah, um, I wonder what uh, Bleak is sending over, but 
Oh yeah. So yeah. So uh, basically, it's an oven that gets close to a thousand degrees. Wow, so that, that, cook, that that's amazing. Cook that, a pizza that, that, and. Yeah. Less than two minutes. All right, I up my price. I up my price to to uh, <laughs> two ninety nine. I'm almost there. Almost, almost there. there. Almost there. That's pretty good. Uh, so there you go. That was my gadget. The Uni. Oh, I think it's great. Coda. I think it's great. Uni Codas. With that, it is time to jump into. I gotta find the audio. You know well, you don't need it, but oh. you might want it at <laughs> Chad's Crappy, Crappy Corner. Corner. Get it. Okie dokie. I have this is a this is a prop here. So we asked the patrons what the theme should be for this month's crappy corner. The option for them to choose from were spring cleaning gadgets, prank or joke gadgets, and modern old gadgets, which I knew it was a little confusing, so I added a little parenthesis that says, <laughs> <laughs> like a modern cassette player. So it's it's old technology, but newly oh, made, okay. mo newly okay. crafted. And that is what won with 66% of the vote. So my little wow. prop here is um, some of my albums, some of my records that I have. And my crappy corner may not be super crappy today because... Um, it's, oh, this is upside down. Um, so anyway, let's jump into, uh, this week's Crappy Corner. Hey, diggity, so here we are with another Crappy Corner. The theme is old is new, so modern manufactured products that use sort of old technology. Today, we are taking a look at a turntable. This is the Audio-Technica ATLP60. This is something that I've actually had in my own home, and I've, I've used it for a while, so I do know a lot about it, which is great. Uh, so it will do both record sizes, so you can have, you have the 12-inch and the 7-inch right there. It'll do both record speeds, so you can do 45 or 33 and a, and a third. Um, and it'll also auto-place the playhead for you, which I really like. So you got your stop, start, stop, and then raise and lower of the needle. So if you hit start, it'll find the start of the of the record. Uh, one thing that I like is that this has both manual and auto control. So if I wanted to, I could also raise the needle and then move it and then place it back down again if I wanted to, uh, which is kind of nice. Also, if you're in the middle of something, you can just push the raise playhead button, which I really like as well. Oh. This does not have speakers built in. So this goes into your AV system and it has a line and a phone switch as well, depending on if you have maybe an older system uh, that will like auto boost um, the signal for you. Also this cover right here, uh, the, like dust cover and, and thing to kind of protect the record comes off, which is nice as well. If you want to remove that, maybe you don't have animals in the house and you like the look of it a little bit better. I obviously do, so I keep this on so we don't have any cats jumping onto uh, onto this. Um, and that about, uh, it comes in about $90, which was something that I really liked, is that the price point was inexpensive for a turntable because they can get really, really expensive. And there's a option with this, if you would like, to have Bluetooth inside of here as well. I did not go for that option, but if you wanted a place that you could transmit your Bluetooth uh, you know, device to, you could also have it integrated there. That way you wouldn't have to switch inputs on your AV receiver if you wanted to do that instead. Uh, that's about it for this crappy corner. <laughs> so there you go. That's, it's a turntable. That's nice. That's yeah, nice. I liked it. So here it is on Amazon. Uh, like I mentioned, around $90. They have a whole bunch of different colors. Some of them are out of stock. I think that since me recording mine, which I purchased back in March, um, they may have come out with a new design because a few of these are out of stock. But I do know that this is a very popular product because uh, here it is, new, newer model is available. So here's the newer model. It's a little bit of a different like manufacturing design, but it looks like almost all of the things are all the same. So all the all the little buttons are just in a different place and a different look to it, which is just fine. So I've really, really enjoyed it. Used it for a while. 
and um, really couldn't be any happier with it. When it comes to, um, uh, <clears throat> why do LP records at, I'm not sure. I'm not sure why it would be 33 and a third, but it does, I don't know. Captain J. <laughs> Science. Um, they, uh, uh, I forgot what I was mentioning, but, um, oh yeah, records, uh, turntables are not cheap. This is one of the least expensive ones that I could find. Yeah. Um, so it, it, is, it, it is expensive being a hundred bucks, but for what it is, it's inexpensive, which is nice. No, the fact that it has a cartridge in it is great. Mm -hmm. And also, you're right, if you had an old, old amplifier, you'd have to buy a little preamp. Right. And as you said, this can work uh, with uh, an old amp and a new amp. So that's right. also, that's great. Right, 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 right. The fact that it yeah. does a line and phone, um, which is really good. Um, and also, I didn't, there's also, t so it seems like, for me, when I was looking for a turntable, you could get an expensive turntable, but it, always had the speakers built in or it would not do like it would have the speakers built in but not do an output of of any any you know i want to turn off the speakers and use my own so it being a audio out device also was uh was super great so you go not so crappy corner this week but we'll find some crappier stuff as we <laughs> move into the month um <laughs> so that's good with that. So the theme is old gadgets done in a new way? Right. So old okay. technology, but a fresh take on it. So Okay. Oh, fresh you know, take fresh, on old tech. Fresh take on old tech. There you go. There Perfect. You go. I'm looking at a way to, <laughs> to, to phrase write it, it up. For the, right. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Old okay. is new again. Basically. I'm making notes. Okay, very good. Perfect. With that, let's move on to Dick's Gadget Warehouse. They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play in Dick's Gadget Warehouse. Born, born. All right, so now that the gym is closed, uh, I've been going on YouTube. And what's great on YouTube, you can find exercise videos for anything. You know, exercise videos while you're sitting, exercise videos if you're older, exercise videos for you and your cat. Um, and, but a lot of them said, you know, if you want to work out with a little bit of weight, that would help. And I thought, what are, I don't have any weight. And I said, well, I have weights. I remembered my <laughs> knife and fork lift. Okay. Ah. This is the knife mm. and fork lift. Wow. And they are actually a pound and a half barbell <laughs> with a knife in one and a fork in another. And then they came out with a spoon. So these two together are three and a half pounds. Wow. <clears throat> yeah. It's actually a nice little workout. I feel like if you and dropped that and it landed on your foot, it just stabbed oh, right you through. Got, you got to be careful. These are these are really well made. Uh, they were 40 bucks. Um, now, go to the website because you can't buy these, but you could be an investor what? and oh. help this guy make them again. <laughs> so <laughs> he is trying to get back. Needed. Into the oh, my god! <laughs> yes. Yeah. Huh. Um, and I did a web search and there's some British company that is making a knife, a fork and a spoon for like 180, some ridiculous what? price. Oh my gosh. But I thought, wait a minute. We what need to start a Kickstarter, it? Dickie D. This is the Kickstarter yes. moment. This is, <laughs> this is what we got to do. Well, what I, I did is I ran around the house and, uh, where did I put the, the, uh, oh Yeah. I figured, well, wait a minute. What is a four? What is a two liter bottle of soda weigh? Do you have any idea what a two liters of soda weighs? Uh, no. Uh, oh, okay. So maybe. it's four and a half pounds. No, four and a half. That's a yeah. So you get two uh, bottles, two two liter bottles. You have four and a half pounds. A quarter milk, the plastic quarter milk. I'm Actually, sure. you could drink drink maybe the milk. Maybe a gallon of milk. milk. Those are yeah. heavy. Put, 
Uh, they are. That's um, two pounds, two ounces. Oh, wow. The water bottles that you drink, the normal water bottles there, 16 and a, a little more than 16 ounces, that's a pound. But then I found a neat article. If you just want to go to WikiHow, mm -hmm. if you go to WikiHow, I'll put this link in the show notes, there is tons of ideas. Made weight set. Oh, look at that. Yeah. And you can vary it, like fill something with rocks or fill yeah. it with water. Uh, oh, that, that's a little a little weird. How to do hmm. how to do arm weights is a big okay. band with two bottles of soda to your wrist. Oh, a medicine ball, nice. A yeah. medicine ball. Uh, another wrist weight thing. You can just lift some beans. Yes, yeah, <laughs> a wheel, a, a tire, uh, bladder. I don't know what those things are called. Tire loop. Uh, yeah, tire uh, the inner tube, a inner tube, tube loop. yeah, yeah, the yeah, tire yeah. tube. You just put sand in your pockets. I just didn't, didn't think about that. Go, go to the beach, load yeah. up. Oh, paint that's, cans. That's oh, the yeah, other thing a, I had thought about. A, a gallon of paint is, uh, I think, eleven pounds. Wow. So a couple of gallons of paint will give you a real workout. Um. <laughs> And then I don't think it's there, but I had another thought. If you if you fill the oh my gosh, it's I didn't fire. go all the way to the bottom of this. Yeah, you keep going. Are you supposed to roll tires? This is like basically a a rain stick. Look at this. You just put water into a to a thing. Put some freezer bags with sand inside of a. This is just keeps going. Oh my goodness! Did I have the final one that I had thought of? Uh, put a load of books in a cloth shopping bag. Oh no, they don't have that one. I don't see that. Then one. you can vary the weight. Yeah. If you have scale, you can make it any weight you want. Yeah. You know, and then you, you can out. tell people I'm working out and doing algebra at the same time. <laughs> Although those mo uh, might be the most expensive weights you've ever purchased if you use yes, like textbooks. True. Like that'd be. It'd be quite that, expensive. Do they even make textbooks anymore? Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Well, I mean, I mean, I say, oh yeah. I, I remember back when I was in college, I still had to buy them. Um, but yeah, I get. I don't know. That's a good question. Anyway, I still have my knife and forklift, but ah. there are tons of. Oh, and 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 we can call those free weights. Oh yeah, there you go. They are free. Cause you don't pay anything to make them. Oh, yeah. I wonder how much my cat weighs. I can just oh, there you go. Curl my cats. <laughs> just cat in each hand. Um, those are not free weights. Those cat are aerobics. Weights. We could make our own cat video. Cat aerobics. Cat aerobics. Yeah. Nine ninety five. Cat aerobics. <laughs> personally signed by Chad and his cat. I like it. I like that a lot. Uh, cat curls. There you go. It says cat spider. curls. Oh, that's a, the perfect name. That's Pat, good. Yeah. Cake. That's we'll good. call it KK, KK, so that we can copyright it. Uh, with that, let's move on to the letter. Become the letters, your lovely letters. Become the kids with letters now. Now. And George F. Wright, hi, Dick and Chad. Thanks for creating the podcast. No I wanted to provide some background on Chad's telehealth experience. Uh, the federal government has provided waivers to doctors, offices, hospitals to use non-HIPAA compliant means of communications to their patients due to the COVID-19 emergency declaration. This is temporary. Waivers will expire when the emergency is lifted uh, and signed George, George F. Uh, now, I, I, I think this direct directive is letting more people do it than normally would do it because right. before, before this virus, my insurance company uh, had emailed me that they will cover uh, visits by Skype or whatever it means you use. Uh, but, and he put a couple of um, websites in there, yeah. which I'll put in the show notes. Is there anything there? Did you go to either one? Yeah. The, one of the, the one of them was this, crazy PDF that it looks like the actual waiver itself, which is the oh, I see. Okay. information. Okay. And then the okay. other one is the uh, HHS, um, which kind of explains what is telehealth, or like what is, you know, what's going on. And it has a whole bunch of links to other articles as well, which is pretty cool. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. I'll I'll uh, put both of those links in the show notes. Yeah, I never thought that like I, there's so much <laughs> to government that is behind the scenes that you never think about. Like I guess yeah, HIPAA, huge huge deal. Got to worry about that if you're going to start doing telehealth. I just thought all these places were like, oh yeah, I'm behind the times. So I guess let's just start up a Skype call now that we have to do it. <laughs> but yeah, I guess there's regulations in place I didn't even think about. That's crazy. No, I, absolutely. And, and and ever shifting. I mean, you know, the city is like the epicenter of this. And um, let's see, on the six o'clock news, I think it's not required or mandatory, but they want everybody to wear uh, a mouth covering. It yeah. doesn't have to be a mask. Uh, scarves are good. And it was very funny because in the park, uh, it was a little chilly and I, Dennis was going by and saw everybody wearing things. And he said, can I wear my Ralph Lauren scarf as a, as a uh, mask? And I said, now he can and he'll yeah. look really, really good. Stylish while doing stylish, it too. Stylish, stylish, yeah. And you know, I'm just going to, uh, Chad, I'm just going to mention that cap, that update to capture software. Um, so the reason the ABC thing is up there is I, for the first time, am doing my gadget spot uh, for World News Now uh, here from the studio. And, and I think Chad is right because uh, one of the people there was saying, well, you know, we have to preview what it's going to look like when uh, we go to your uh, apartment there. Uh, I think they'll, they will be impressed. So anyway, with, with uh, the Skype update, not the Skype, the uh, capture Logitech update in, I think it was October, they added two new things. So uh, original capture, you can do one camera. The second camera can be anything you want, including your monitor. The third option is you in the You're corner and right something. You're covered right now by the Gizwiz logo. <laughs> oh, that's okay. Um, then you can reverse that. But new is where you can be talking and have, you can be one third of a screen, two thirds of a screen, or you can reverse it that way and have a third and two thirds. Uh, Logitech Capture is free and it only works on a PC and it only works with a Logitech 920, a Logitech 922, or a Logitech Brio. Okay. Brio. Right. And so I have two Logitech 920s and. So if you only have one of them, you can make you can have one camera, and the second in, input can be uh, your screen, your video camera, whatever you want. That's nice. uh, so if you want if you're indoors and you want to play, uh, just go to Logitech and download the, the capture software, PC only. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, we want to say big old thank you to our patrons over patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you so, 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 so much for your support, especially during these crazy times. We really, really wow. appreciate it. You guys are incredible. So thank you so much for supporting. If you enjoy the show and you're listening, you're watching, please consider giving back over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. If you do, we really, really appreciate it. Thank you to all of you who have been supporting for so long. You guys are incredible. Thank you. If Patreon is not your, your the platform that you prefer, you can head on over to gizwiz.tv, click on the Patreon tab, and there's a PayPal link if you want to give via PayPal. Uh, speaking of gizwiz.tv, that is where we record our show and we post episodes there so you can check out all of the previous one, previous ones. We record live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. So you can tune in to watch the live recording of the show. Join the chat room and chat along with our lovely audience. If you don't watch live, don't worry. We have all the episodes there for you to download. And we also have links for iTunes or an RSS feed or on YouTube as well. Head on over to gizwiz.biz, that's Dickie D's website, where he writes up awesome articles about all of the gadgets that we cover. There you can play What the Heck Is It? Which is the, the original, not the, uh, not the copycat <laughs> that we did today on the show. Uh, and this is the gadget, the whole gadget, not, nothing but the gadget. And you gotta guess what it is. What the heck is that thing? And, you know, this is obvious to me that this is a small model of a, an architectural model of a 
museum that they were planning on building for ants. It's Pretty good. Itty bitty. Uh, if you think you know what this is, get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. There are six mad magazines for correct answers, but double the mad magazines if you're funny, clever, hilarious, or interesting. So get creative over at gizwiz.biz. Uh, I think that wraps it up for our show, right? I can't think of anything else. Stay safe. Uh, Stay send us home. videos. Did we say send videos? Yeah, send videos over for your gadget. Where? Oh, yeah, maybe we didn't because we... We didn't really think. Oh, yeah, because I did it live. That's what it yes. was. I was so but, enchanting. I was so carried away. <laughs> I was so in the moment. <laughs> well, I will remind you now, if you would like to be in a gadget warehouse, please send over a video. You can upload it to YouTube. Click Unlisted if you don't want other people to find it. If you do want to have it public, that's fine as well. Then email us that, that link, that YouTube link, and that goes to mail at gizwiz.tv so that we can show your beautiful face. And if we show you, we, we send you a signed copy of, uh, what is it? What are we? The, a copy of Mad Magazine Alfred, and Mad an Mad Alfred E. Newman uh, photo. If you live in the U.S., if you live outside the U.S., I'll sign one of those pictures and send you a high-res image. Uh, so we need some videos uh, from some new people would also be great. So send us a video. Send it now. 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 <laughs> now. Thanks so much for you watching. Hear me now. <laughs> we'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>